Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this video I just want to show you a pretty interesting addition to Flora. So let's take a look at what it does. It's called Ideogram. So um, it actually works with text um, typography really, really well. So let's see how uh, the whole system works. So let's go to Flora uh, Phono.ai. Let's create a new project. All right, so we are in the canvas right now and you can use any um, the templates in here and start with that but we are going to start uh, something from scratch so when you click on this plus sign you can see three inputs one is a text it's an image and a video so we're going to start with text we are going to try and generate a poster a typography poster here so let's start with this now the thing is that if this is your text node so if you write um, create a poster a typography poster here it will not generate a poster it will only generate a text, All right? So this is a text node. So what we are going to do is, we are going to ask for a prompt in here. So uh, write a prompt for creating typography poster, which says uh, time is in the world. So I, I wrote a text here. This is our prompt for generating a prompt for an image, right? So let's click. Um, and so it is going to create our text prompt in here. So it says design a typography poster featuring all the phrase and things like that. And it is giving a lot of inputs here, right? Um, talks about the um, user modern clean phone balancing contrast and, and things like that. So uh, this is good, right? So we can keep creating variants or we can uh, copy this and edit uh, the prompt in the way that we want. So let's create another node from here and we are going to say image because now we have a prompt and I click on image. So the prompt is automatically taken from here, right? That it creates an image. So before we create, uh, we can change the model here. So the new model that handles um, typography really well is called ideogram 2.0. So we can select that, right? So we have ideogram, we can change the um, size. So I think I'll go with uh, portrait here. Now, another thing that we can do here is that we can change uh, the number of generations that we want. So I'm just gonna go with uh, three here. I want three generations, three variations of generations from this prompt, right? So now when we, once we have all of that, let's hit generate and it's going to create three prompts let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see all of these all right so we have three renders three posters which are designed with typography and it's very more and it looks um different from each other might not be great designs here because see it's it's still an ai um learn model so it will not create perfect designs for you but see the way that it actually works with typography this is pretty impressive right none of the other ai tools out there will work uh, with this precision on uh, typography so we have these generations in here let's try uh, a little more right so we are going to take something that we like from here we can create another node from here and then we can actually say um, maybe uh, a text prompt right so i'm just going to create a text prompt here so this create a prompt uh, to change the typography in this image. Okay, Just change the typography in the image to a bold. So it, it sort of said what needs to be changed in here and all that, which is interesting. So let's try something else here. Right, so I'm just going to take uh, an image node. So this is something that we can use to upload an image as well. So I'm going to click on upload an image and I have this poster image. Um, let it upload. Okay, it is done. So I'm going to create a text node. I'm going to write describe this poster design. So it described the whole thing. 
which is very interesting. Everything cherry on top in a vibrant retro style, all of that is done. So we are going to change this, this particular text that they are saying to our content. So time is the methodological healer. All the other stuff is fine. Um, we can keep changing the color and stuff like that. I think that's fine. I'm just going to uh, create an image from this. Let's use ideogram itself. Um, stylus design. Aspect ratio, I'm just going to change it to portrait. Let's create three posters. All right, this is pretty cool. So look at that. We uh, we gave an input right here and we asked to change it and it sort of used the same style and it created three different posters which handles typography really, really well. Uh, so this is very, very impressive, right? Think about that. And we can, I think we can keep creating variations from this. So make variations. And I can change it to a model. Slight variation of the input image. I think that's fine. Um, just let's create what Wow, this is super nice. There are, I could see some sort of errors in, in here, like when it, it handled typography, but that's that's a minute thing. We can, we can fix it really, really quickly. So this is highly impressive. Test it out. Um, you know, maybe this is one way to actually give you um, a basic structure to start with and then you can make it yours by modifying things from there. This is highly impressive. So I'll see you with another video. Till then, bye-bye.